What magazine features a guy named Alfred E. Newman? If you can answer this and a bunch of other questions, maybe you've got what it takes to... And here's your Space Age host, the greatest invention since the napkin, Lou Schneider! Thank you. That's awfully kind of you, Maria. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Make the Grade, the fast action game show featuring three bright kids and me in a battle to answer questions and win cash prizes. Before we take a look at the game board and the subjects for today, let's meet our players. Hi, players. Hi, Lou. <laughs> in perfect harmony and unison. That's beautiful. In the red desk, we have Allison. Hi, Allison. Hi. Allison, like all our players today, is an eighth grader. Allison likes uh, to read and also does some acting. Isn't that right? Yeah, I was in the drama club last year. And what, what shows did you put on? We did uh, You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown. Oh, who are you? I was in the chorus. That's fine. That's fine. That's one of my, that's one of my favorites from, uh, from way back. Who, did you have a good Snoopy? Yes, we had a very good Snoopy. That's the key to that play. You gotta have a good Snoopy. You know, who's next to you? We have Keisha. Hi, Keisha. Hi. How are you? Fine. Keisha, you do a little singing? Yes. Is that right? And your life is, obs you are obsessed with a musical group. Who is that? New Kids on the Block. New Kids on the Block. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Is there, a, is there a new kid you're completely, uh, totally devoted to or no? Yes, Jordan Knight. Jordan Knight. Does he have any idea? <laughs> Please. Please. Uh, Jordan, I don't know if he watches the show, but if he's out there, you can say hi to him. Go hi, ahead. Jordan. <laughs> There you go. Look at that. She was fine. Then all of a sudden she says, Jordan, she starts giggling. Who's next to her? Next to you, we have Matt. Hi, Matt. Hi. Matt, I'm going to do a little bragging for you at this point, because uh, I know you're just a little bit, you're not going to brag for yourself. Uh, you are, uh, you played on the world champion Little League team th yep. this year, right? Yeah, I saw you guys. Trumbull, Connecticut. Matt is from. Congratulations, Matt. A hey, pretty big deal coming up. We also have... Uh, we um, had another teammate of yours on the show, and he didn't, uh, I didn't know that until after the show. His name is Dave Gala. He also played on that team. You guys are going to the White House, is that right? Yep. Well, have fun there, and tell George and Barbara I said hi, and uh, watch out for the dog. They're small, and you can trip over them. But have fun there, and no playing ball in the house. I don't care how good you guys are. Listen, here's how the game works. Look up at our board today. You see we have seven grade levels and seven subjects. Uh, the subjects today are phys ed, home ec, science, social studies, TV stuff, hot stuff, and English. In order to win the game and advance to the honors round, you need to answer at least one question in every grade level and one in each subject, and you can do that in any pattern you like. But if you do it first, you win $500 and then a chance to graduate to the honors round and maybe win up to another $1,000 after that. So uh, be prepared. I should remind you that behind some of those question squares, guys, there are wild cards, including some fire drills, and those can change the course of the game at any moment. So kind of be on the lookout, but we'll deal with those when they come up. In the meantime, Allison, you won the right to go first. Why don't you select a square and let's make the grade. Um, I'd like TV stuff elementary, please. TV stuff elementary, okay. Whoa, fire drill right off the bat. All right, come on over here, players. All right, Allison, you can bring those over. There you go. Okay, we trot out into position. Still early here, okay, guys. This is something we call three in a line. You might know it as tic-tac-toe, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your, uh, your balls here and roll them up these alleys, and the first person who can get three in a row will light that light at the top of the alley that corresponds to uh, your position. Now, if you win the event, you get to stop. The second and third places must be decided, though, so don't quit. Wait till you've been told to absolutely stop, okay? And when you're finished, stay right where you are, and we'll move you back into position, all right? Let's go out there and do it. They walk together, they talk together. I love these kids. Okay, uh, here we go. Don't touch a ball until I say ready. On your mark, get set, go. Okay, here we go. Gotta make three in a row. He's gonna just keep firing them, okay. Okay, here we go, keep firing. Look, there's, okay, Matt, you've done it. You're silent, your, uh, your light is lit. Keep going, you guys. I need, whoa, look out. There we go. Keep it going. You don't have to keep going, Matt. You can stop. But the other two have to keep rolling. Allison and Keisha. Let me see three in a line. Let me see three in a line. There we go. Okay, stop. Right there. Hold it. Okay, guys, just turn right around from where you are. 
Look up at the board. Here we go. Oh, what, what am I doing here? Okay, uh, there are, Matt, where would you like to go? You won the fire drill. Blue. He still feels lucky at blue. Let's see, Allison, where are you going? Red. All right, she's going to red. Go ahead. Keisha, go to the green. Good for you. All right, guys, well, you know what? That's about the earliest fire drill we've ever had. And you know what? It's a good, it was just like a fire drill. Didn't mean much, but the, in the event of an actual catastrophe, that would have been important. I don't know. Guys, that's important. It didn't, it didn't change much, but it was a lot of fun. Matt, you're still in control of the board because uh, you're in control of the board now because you won the fire drill. Okay, I like physical education for ninth grade. Phys ed, ninth grade. Okay. Ray Boom Boom Mancini, Carl the Truth Williams, and Thomas Hitman Hearns all compete in what sport? Boxing. Matt, boxing is right. Wait for your name. Okay, Matt's the first on the board here. Go ahead, Matt. I like home economics for eighth grade. Home ec, eighth grade. If you were trying to fix the overflow tube and stopper ball, you'd be working on what common household item? You want to take a stab at this one? Matt? Um, kitchen. Oh, no, that's not right. I'll read it again for Keisha and Allison. If you were trying to fix the overflow tube and the stopper ball, what, you'd be working on what common household item? Allison? A sink. Oh, that's close. That's not right. Keisha, you want to give it another try here? Bathtub? No, that's incorrect. Okay, guys, the toilet is right. The toilet. Okay, go ahead, Matt. Um, I, like, I like science for 10th grade. Science, 10th grade. Mark Twain invented what article of clothing? Suspenders, belt buckle, or handkerchief, Allison? Handkerchief. Handkerchief is not right. Let me ask Keisha and Matt. Mark Twain invented what article of clothing? Suspenders, belt buckle, or handkerchief? Keisha. Suspenders. Suspenders. That's what I was looking for. Good for you, and you're on the board. Now you're picking squares. Go ahead, Keisha. Science in elementary. Science, elementary. What do Bear and Anison have in common? Allison. They're kinds of aspirin. Both aspirins. Both aspirins. Good for you. Um, P for 12th grade, please. Okay, all the way to the end of the category here. Before moving to Phoenix, where did the football Cardinals play their home games, Allison? St. Louis. St. Louis, Bush Stadium. That's absolutely right. Good for you. Go ahead, Allison. Um, vacation hotspots for 8th grade. Okay, this is uh, vacation hotspots 8th grade. These have to do with... Fancy, uh, popular vacation areas. If you were visiting the Lincoln Memorial in the Library of Congress, where are you? Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. She is on a roll here. Okay, Allison. Um, TV stuff for seventh grade. TV stuff, seventh grade. <clears throat> what TV show starred Jackie Gleason as a New York bus driver? Allison. The Honeymooners. The Honeymooners, Allison. On a rampage. Go ahead. Um, I'll try... English for 11th grade. English, 11th grade. He wrote Death of a Salesman and The Crucible and was married to Marilyn Monroe all in the same lifetime. Who is he? Anyone know this? One of the luckiest guys in history. Ooh, Arthur Miller. Arthur Miller. Tremendously talented and very, very prolific writer. Okay, go ahead, Alex. English for 10th grade. English, 10th grade. This may sound familiar to you guys. What magazine features a guy named Alfred E. Newman? Matt. Mad. Matt is right. Not Matt. Bad. Sorry. Go ahead, Matt. Um, social studies for 12th grade. Social studies, 12th grade. Let's go get it. All right. Francois Mitterrand is the president of what European country, Allison? France. France. Yes. Was it the accent that helped you? Go ahead. <laughs> um, social studies for 9th grade. Social studies, ninth grade. In American traditional dance, in what American traditional dance style does someone tell you what to do, how to move, and where to go, Allison? Square dance. Square dancing, or anytime my mother's involved in any sort of activity. Ooh, there is the first round buzzer. That ends our time here. Allison out to a good, strong lead. Matt, not too far behind. Keisha has some making up to do. But we do have another round coming up, and we'll find out who goes on to the honors round right after that. So please come back.
Okay, and we are back. Uh, at the end of round one, Allison had a real nice lead uh, here with 10 squares in the red desk over uh, Matt in the blue desk with four squares and Keisha behind him. Uh, but we are, in the, we are going into the round two where there are a lot of questions and there is a fire drill up there somewhere, guys. So you know that can change the way this game goes like that. So be careful. Guys, I do want to remind you that if no one has completed their scoreboards by the time the game is over, uh, the player who has come closest to doing that will be declared our champion, win the $500, and then a chance in the honors round to win another $1,000. That's right. But that's a long way down the line. We still have a lot of game left. Uh, let's see. Allison, you answered the last question correctly. Why don't you get us going here in round two? Um, home at grade 11. Okay, home at grade 11. Oh, uh, who's a square? Um, All right. Uh, you have to get back one of your squares that's on the board, Allison. Um, social studies, grade 12. All right, she's taking off that grade 12 social studies. That comes down off your color. And you still pick for us. Go ahead. Um, I'll try English grade 10. Okay. Uh, oh, that's you taken. can't do that. That's taken. Um, home at, home at grade 10. Home at grade 10. Okay, sure. That is a fire drill. All right, let's move over. All right, stand in behind your podiums there. Okay, let's get everybody set. And here is how this works. This is something we call hold everything. What you are going to do is exactly that. You're going to have to hold everything that's on these shelves. And you can't pick up the shelf to do it, by the way. We've had people get smart that way. You have to pick up all those things and control them in some way so that you are holding them away from this shelf here, all right? The first person to do that will be our winner. The second person uh, and third person must, com must complete the task also, okay? All right, now when you finish doing that, uh, stay right where you are and I'll move you into position, okay? On your mark. Get set, go! Start grabbing stuff any way you can. Oh, okay, Matt, you're gonna have to get that off the floor. But if he was with it, nope, he's not gonna pick up the stuff, he's gonna stuff the pack. Oh, there goes Kishi. You got a ruler on the ground there. Okay, Allison is really, she's stacking. Trying to stack, all right. Kishi, you have a ruler on the floor here. All right, Allison has won it. Keep going, you guys, keep going. I need second and third place. All right, Allison, you can drop everything. You can drop it, oh, oh. Oh, oh, no injuries. I don't want any injuries. All right, Max, loading the book bag. Oh, <laughs> okay, don't worry. Don't worry, there's Allison. She's got her one spot. Okay, we got first and second. All right, Max, stop. Look at the bright side, you're not tired. Okay, <laughs> okay, nice. <laughs> okay, so, hey, but you know, can I borrow a quarter? Just kidding. All right, let's see. Allison, you won that one. You, by the way, you can put put the stuff down. You can put the... She's like, Lou, where do you want me to go? Now I got it. Where am I going? Okay. Oh, we're okay. okay. All right, Allison, you won that. Look up at the board. Where do you want to go? Um, red. Okay, back to red. Good, smart move. Okay, Keith, you were second. Where are you going? Okay, go to blue. And Matt, you go to green. And I'll just try to find my way back. Oh, my. That's one of my favorites. I just love watching people wrestle with all that stuff. Okay, uh, Allison, that was great. You won that fire drill and, most importantly, kept your lead here because you had a big lead to lose if you had done so. But that didn't happen. Uh, Keisha, you improved your standings a little bit moving into that blue desk. Allison, you are still in control of the board. Go ahead and ask a question. Um, English elementary. English elementary. All right. Uh, ooh. Lose a square. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes, my friend. I'm afraid you're going to have to give back one of your squares. Um, science elementary. Okay, she's giving back the elementary science question. Okay, that goes back up on the board as an active question, and uh, that can be asked if, you need, if need be. Okay, Allison. Um, science grade 7. Okay, grade 7 science question. Here we go. Someone who scientifically... Someone who scientifically studies the stars in space is known as a what, Allison? Astronomer. Astronomer is right. Good answer. Go ahead, Allison. Um, English elementary. English elementary. Of the following, which is a proper noun? Dog, suit, jack, boat. Keisha. Jack. Jack is a proper noun. Jack can be a person's name. It can be just a regular noun, the jack for your car, but it's also jack a proper noun. Go ahead, Keisha. Um, P.E. Elementary. P.E. Elementary. What do you call the room in a school where you go to lift weights, do exercises, or play volleyball? Keisha. Gym room. The gym. 
or gymnasium. Very nice. Go ahead, Keisha. Home ec for seventh. Home ec, seventh grade. Okay, and that is a take. Okay, good for you. Find an opponent square and take it over to your side. Social studies, ninth grade. All right, you're going to take that ninth grade social studies off Allison's side. That becomes a blue square for you, and you are still uh, in command here. Home ec, seventh grade. All right, she's taking that home ec, seventh grade question. Here we go. You can find what kind of farm animal on a box of Kellogg's Corn Flakes? Allison. A rooster. A rooster is right. Okay, Allison, fighting back here. Go ahead. Um, social studies, um, grade nine. Social, oh, social studies, grade ten. Okay. Sorry. That's better. Fine. Eddie Murphy's co-star in Coming to America now has his own late-night talk show. Who is he? Allison. Arsenio Hall. Arsenio Hall. Funny man, Arsenio Hall. Go ahead, Allison. Um, English, grade eight. English, grade eight. Okay. Players, according to the nursery rhyme, at what time of day do we go round the mulberry bush? Matt? Um, one o'clock. Oh, that's not right. Uh, let me ask for Keisha and for Allison. Uh, according to the nursery rhyme, at what time of day do we go round the mulberry bush? Anyone know? Oh, early in the morning. Early in the morning. Yes, before the heat of the day. You get so sweaty going around that mulberry bush. If you go at noon, you're dead for the rest of the day. Terrible. Okay, go ahead, uh, Allison. Um, TV grade 11. TV grade 11. Okay. What's the name of the new sitcom starring Jackie Mason? Keisha. Chicken Soup. Chicken Soup. That's correct. Okay, Keisha. Um, TV 10th grade. TV 10th grade. Uh, who's the host of Nickelodeon's Think Fast? Allison. Oh, I can't remember. That's incorrect. <laughs> uh, for Matt and Keisha, who's the host of Nickelodeon's Think Fast? Think fast, you guys. <laughs> No, Michael Carrington. Michael Carrington is correct. Okay, uh, go ahead, Keisha. The hot spot vacations, 10th grade. Hot stuff vacations. All right, these are popular vacation spots. Palm trees, the Orange Bowl, and Daytona Beach are all located in which southern state, Keisha? Florida. Florida. Very nice. All right, Keisha, big comeback here. Go ahead. English 11th grade. English 11th grade. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, can't, can't, can't do that. That's a oh, question that's already no. been asked. Go ahead. English 12th grade. That we can do. Okay. Who wrote The Mouse and the Motorcycle and Ramona the Pest? Beverly Allison. Cleary. Beverly Cleary. As well as Ribsy and others. Go ahead, Allison. Um, English grade 9. English grade 9. That is a take a square. Um, I'll take English elementary. All right, she's going to take the English elementary. And uh, that goes over to you. Good for you, Allison. All right, keep us moving here. Um, I'll try science grade nine. Science grade nine. Okay, that is a free square. Oh, boy. Okay, that goes up on your side. Okay, Allison. PE grade 11. PE grade 11 players, this could perhaps mean the game. Here we go. The initials of the word self-contained underwater breathing apparatus stand for which sport, Allison? Scuba diving. Scuba diving in the red desk. Allison, you are our champion. Congratulations. Great game, Allison. You have already won $500, and in a few seconds, we'll be going over to the honors round to see if you can't take home perhaps another $1,000 in prize money. But we don't uh, do that right away. First, we have to say goodbye to our runners-up, Matt and Keisha. Great game there. We enjoyed having you a tremendous amount today, and we do have $50 for your efforts uh, that you put forth today, as well as these terrific consolation prizes. Someone's answering. Tell them all about those prizes. Maria, that might have been Maria. Okay, Lou. Each of our runners-up received password padlock opens with your own secret word, so you will never forget your combination again. And the Fast Track 12-inch digital display ruler makes measuring fun. And they'll also receive on Make the Grade Con Air's Prima Series, telephones and telephone answering machines with innovative features, styles, and designs for the 90s. From Con Air. Back to you, Lou. Okay, we'll be right back to see if Allison here can pass the honors round and perhaps go home with a grand total of 1,500 bucks. So please, come on back.
Okay, great job, Allison, for winning that game. So far, you have already picked up $500. But here we are in the honors round, and now you have a chance to add to that total a huge chunk of change. Okay, here's how it works. We have three categories. You pick one of them, and then in 45 seconds, you must correctly answer seven questions in that category. The choices for today are fill in the blanks, islands of the world, or famous women. Which would you like to answer? I'm fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks. All right, we've divided fill in the blanks into seven subjects. The subjects are math, geography, home ec, English, the arts, history, and social studies. Now, as I go through these questions, if you do not know the answer to one, pass that question. We'll come back to it later. I'll give you $100 for everyone you get right. You get all seven correct, $1,000. Time will not start until I finish reading the first question. May I have 45 seconds on the clock, please? Here we go. The rock band, Blank Maniacs. Pass. Geography. Mark Twain's novel, Life on What River? Mississippi. Right. Home ec. Campbell's soups are mm, mm what? Good. Right. English, the Shakespearean play, Romeo and who? Juliet. Right. Arts, the movie, When Harry Met Who? Sally. Right. History, Lincoln's famous speech, the Gettysburg what? Address. Right. Social studies, the TV channel, video hits what? One. Right. Math, the rock band, Blank Maniacs. I don't know. A number. The rock band, Blank Maniacs. Seven. No, that is incorrect. Uh, oh, Allison, uh, I'm so sorry. Six of seven, 10,000 maniacs uh, is the name of the band. Oh, you got six, right? That's $600 added to the 500 previous total. That's $1,100 you're oh. going home with. That's terrific. Great job. Thank you. Oh, I hope you had a lot of fun. I sure I did. did. And I hope you people join us again next time for another fun time here on Make the Grade. Goodbye, everybody. Promotional consideration provided by British Knight Sneakers. Get off on the right foot. Get off in BK's British Knight athletic footwear for guys and gals wherever you go whatever you do british nice the right move for you and go head-to-head -head wireless with the new nintendo double player system from acclaim twin turbo rapid fire and slow motion from acclaim the masters of the game and smith corona's easy to use xd 5600 memory typewriter comes with a 50,000 word dictionary three and a half pages of internal memory and the exclusive fumble free correcting cassette this is your announcer, Maria Melito. Hey, Lou, if you're getting up early to run around the mulberry bush, count me out. I'm sleeping in. See you later.